What is going on guys? One more see you bring guys a brand new video. I promise that today I'll be bringing you a video talking about my music and what's been going on with it. And I have a lot to explain so this might be a little bit long because there's a couple, like I have a, like a list of points I want to hit in this video. There's some stuff I put out this year, like stuff that I talked about that I would do this year with my music and I didn't do it. It's been over a year since I released any music. So I feel like there's just some stuff I want to say. Whether you care to hear it or not, uh, I just, there's a lot I need to get off my chest. I just kind of want to use this video to give me that way to tell everything and also update y'all on my music. Because this is probably going to be a long video, like I said, I've been working on a lot of music over the past year. So I'm going to play little bits of the unfinished demos of those songs just to give you something to kind of break up the video and hopefully get you excited about the new music that's coming. So let's talk about the reason you probably cl clicked this video why I quit music and you're probably like well you didn't quit music you've been doing covers you've been like talking about all this music you've been writing but I did quit music I quit writing music for about half a year uh, in 2020 I released two songs too soon and ripped away the reason I had to quit because after I released Ripped Away, I spent a lot of time nurturing that song and really trying to develop it. It suffered the same thing that Honesty suffered, that New Vibe suffered, that Uncovered suffered. And that was, I hated it. And when I released it and it was out there, I go back and listen to it and I'm like, this sucks. And to have stuff that you work on for hours, which turns into days, which turns into weeks, which turns into months. And in some cases, some songs years. To have that process go so long. For you to hate it all, it's honestly, it rips out my heart. I was heartbroken by my own music. And I had asked myself the questions, do I suck? Because I know I don't suck at like music in general, but like making music and, you know, doing what's best for me for a career. I was like, do I just suck? And that was just the frustration I had to live with was the thought of, I can't make music. I just can't. I just suck. I can't hit the right notes. It sounds terrible. And Ripped Away just really did me in because I thought that song was so good. I release it. I go back and listen to it. And I'm like, this sucks. And it hurt for the past year. Every YouTube video I publish in the comments, I put in like advertising Ripped Away because it was my latest release. I don't want anyone to go listen to that. Too soon? Maybe. Go listen to that. Some songs off of Honesty, go listen to them. Like Alone, No More, Misunderstood, Toxic. And New Vibes had a couple and Uncovered. Just forget Uncovered exists. I do. I try to. So I decided late last year I was going to just stop writing music, stop caring about my personal music, and just enjoy listening to music, listen to new artists, and just kind of find a new version of myself. Uh, thank you for listening to this first part. I'm now going to play a little piece from my song, Sign. Suddenly, everything feels alright Feeling like it was all by design Rebel Music Purchase your tracks today I know it must be a sign So let's talk about how I rebounded So I took this period of time to listen to new artists that I haven't listened to a lot And really just delve into new catalogs of music to inspire what I do now. I delved into the works of The Weeknd, Post Malone, Miley Cyrus, Demi Lovato, One Republic. I really just, and of course the Jonas Brothers, but that's obvious um, for me. So I, these new artists, I just really just went head first right into it. And I said, you know what? I think I'm, I fi I'm finding something here. So that's pretty much August till December slash January of 2020 into 2021. I get a spark in about January and February 2021. Where I go on this song writing high. I mean, I am just writing out songs. I mean, they're coming out just like this. So then I'm like, man, I'm on a fourth album. 
scary hours. It's gonna be this, and it's gonna be this, and I'll have this EP here, and this, and this, and this. Not any of that has happened. The rollout of those releases were supposed to start in March. We're in October. I haven't released a thing. Because, why? Because I took time to nurture the music and realized some of it sucked. That's the main thing. I need to realize what sucks and what doesn't. Now there are some that made it out. So now I'm going to play you a little bit of one that made it out of that hole. It's a song coming out next year called Demon. Locked away in a dark cell Trapped in a cold place that feels like hell Seven years, no sign of escaping Cause you keep turning away from me This temptation in my head Keeps pulling me back You need to let me out before you lose hope of getting on track And I'm just trying to make sense of this f***ing hell I'm in You had me screaming here to let me out But you just shout me out Cause you think it's okay to kill me this way You know you are my demon This whole year I've been really going nuts with my music and really just having fun with it. I knew when I wanted to do this, I wanted to do something I hadn't done before. I knew the style of my music, the tone, the speed, the tempo, it needed to all be different. I made it all different. I take pride in that I've gone back, reformed my music. I've told people who I've shown a little bit of the new stuff too, and even if I haven't shown it to them, I just talk to them about it. I'm like, whatever you've heard from me before, forget it. This new stuff sounds nothing like it. And the people that have heard the new stuff, they can attest to it. It sounds nothing like my old music. It's more instrumental, less electronic. I mean, it's still electronic stuff in there because that's just the wave of today's music. It's less of it. And it's slower, but faster. The speed of the songs are faster, but the pace that I sing the songs is slower. One thing that I really suffered in my past was every second of the song I tried to really fill it up with lyrics. Sometimes it's important to let the song breathe. Because I noticed as I was growing listening to music over the last year, I realized I enjoy listening to the music in the song as much as I do the lyrics. So I knew when I made the music this year, I wanted to have the songs speak not only through the lyrics, but through the music. That has been the joy of my life. I've written so many songs this year. Over the last month, you know, inspirations come in and out of life. So when they're in, if there's any songwriters out there listening to this that need a little bit of advice, when you have a little bit of inspiration, start writing. Because that inspiration that you start writing, you're going to find that you really like it. And it's going to grow and grow. And the more that inspiration grows, the more songs you're going to write. And I promise you, when you write songs out of inspiration and not out of, hey, I want to write a song, but when you feel like inspired, there's the best songs you're going to create. Because I have a bunch of those songs from the past like month or so. And they're some of the best songs I've ever written. Because they come from true inspiration. And I still have that inspiration now. I'm still hammering out songs. You know, the inspiration, we hope it lasts forever. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. You know, I've had a lot of inspiration for my music in the past, but it's been like breakups and sad stuff. Now it's the first time I'm just like really happy. And I think it translates into the new music. And I think many of you will enjoy listening to the music more because it's happier. It's just more positive. And they're, yeah, there's still the negative ones here and there, but they are far in between. While Honesty definitely is a very personal album, because it is essentially a breakup album, it has a lot of truth being spoken in it. The new music is by far the most honest I've ever been. And I think you're going to hear it in my next song that comes out called Stay, which has been submitted for release. So bearing any setbacks from my distributor, Stay will be released October 29th, 2021. New with more single. First time since August of 2020. You're getting a new song from me. I'm so excited to be bringing it to y'all. I'm not going to play any of it in today's video because I want you to wait you to wait and I'll release a video next week talking more about the song itself but just saying it now you get the exclusive reveal now before I announce it to social media next week stay it's coming out October 29th I'm so hyped to bring in this song and I'll talk more about it um, next week but you know I did tease a song there you know it's only right that I play another piece from a song so here is a piece 
from my song, Find the Truth. Girl, what are you hiding? I notice you won't look me in the eye. Girl, what's on your mind? You're giving me an off but vibe. I need to know if you want me to let go. I need to know if you want me to hold you close. Gotta know where I go from tonight. Wanna know if I still get to call you mine. Gotta find the truth. I don't care if it breaks my heart in two. Gotta find the truth. Wanna know what there's a future for me and you. I love my late night talks and I need to start. So do we just stop it? Oh yeah, I'm looking for the truth. Gotta find the truth. Oh, yeah. So hopefully a bunch of you are excited now that I have told you that I'm releasing a new song. And I'm excited. I'm just, I'm thrilled. It makes me so happy to be releasing music again. And uh, really enjoying it and really having many people listen to it. And when they all say, yeah, that's good. That is so good. And I'm like, are you saying it's good like for me? Or good like the song's actually good. No, no, the song is actually good. Most people who have heard some of my old stuff, I I'll take pride in this, so I'm going to say it. When I show them the new stuff, they think I'm covering another artist. Because the jump from my writing from, which would technically be the honesty time, to now, is so drastically different, they don't recognize me. They always like, don't recognize me. It's so much fun. Oh my gosh. It is so much fun fun to make music now. I have fun with these songs. These songs are like stuff I can dance to and vibe to and just listen to going down the road. You can't do that with the honesty or new vibes are uncovered. So you're probably like, Will, you're about to announce another album. There's another album on the way. I have two words for you. Two words. Right? 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 Two words. Hell no. You will get no album from me any time soon. Right now, there's zero Absolute goose egg. Chance of me releasing an album anytime. I kind of touched on this back in the uh, Scary Hours announcement video, but uh, I deleted that video, so you know, I'll say it again here. Music in general, um, artists don't get a whole lot in return. Most of the most of the money they make is from the brand deals, uh, appearances, and the, their contract with the label. And yeah, streaming brings in good numbers, eventually, if you get like super high numbers. Obviously, I have not gotten super high numbers, because I'm still recording in my closet. It just doesn't make sense to release an album. Because if I release an album, I have to buy a licensing for all the songs. So, an album for me is about 14 songs. So if I have to buy the licensing, which is about 30 bucks per song, to make almost no return, and unless a bunch of people just decide, hey, I want to listen to his music, most of the songs aren't going to get listened to anyway, then what's the point of releasing an album? So, going forward, I just, I feel it's best for me that I just do singles. And I'm happy with just doing singles. Because that way, I get to put all my focus and all my energy into one song at a time when it comes to release and what comes after that. And really pushing it and getting people to listen to this song at a time, not try to listen to 14. Because unless you love that artist, listening to 14 of their songs at one time is a commitment. And I'm not blind to that. I think I was back when I released the past albums, but now I'm like, it's almost like you gotta sit down and just be committed if you wanna listen to like a whole album. Especially to an artist that you don't like die hard listen to, unless it's really good. And I think my stuff's really good, but I'm still not at that point where I'm comfortable releasing an album. You will just be getting singles from me. Now I will say, there's a bunch of songs that I have written that I don't think could stand on their own as singles. They're just not single types. There are some songs out there that they are very good, but they're just not a single type song. I could do an EP at some point where I release, where it has a couple of singles that I already released, as well as a couple other songs that I just felt weren't good enough to be singles, and I kind of threw them in there and I'll make an EP out of it. I would expect that. Maybe it's like halfway through next year or something. Maybe if I feel like it. I'm not going to make any commitments. I can make a commitment that you're getting singles from me almost close to monthly going forward. Um, because there's songs that are ready to go and are very close to being ready to go and then get them reviewed. And then it'll be ship them off to the distributor. New songs. Woohoo! I want to talk more about how this is going to be going forward. But you know what time it is. I'm going to play you a piece of my song, You Keep Me Going. It's a magical feeling. When I know I got you by my side 
It's like time just stops moving I don't need it when I'm lost in your eyes And when I see your smile When I see your smile I swear it makes me wanna go wild Going when I can't sleep at night, yeah, you keep me going when I need a reason to fight. You got me down on my knees, baby. You're the one I need, yeah, you keep me going, yeah, you keep me going, yeah, you keep me going. So, I said earlier in the video, I want you to forget all the music you've heard from me in the past. While I stand by that statement, there are some songs I do want people to remember, probably because theoretically I'd play them in a concert. So, you will be getting those songs put together in an album at the end of the year. If you notice on YouTube, I did live studio sessions. All those live studio sessions will be released in an album at the end of the year. Now, do all those songs I want you to remember? No, there's one in particular that I did for jokes and purposes. It will be released, but I do not want anyone to expect hearing it at a concert. And that is Uncovered. I am never singing that song again. That last studio session was the last time you'll ever hear from me. The song's like, Too Soon, Leave Me, Friend of Mine, Alone, No More, Misunderstood, Toxic, and I might do a couple more before the end of the year. Those are ones that I want you to remember. Because I feel like those songs are ones that you would most likely hear from me in a concert. Check that out when it gets released. They're all re-recorded. That's, that's just a small thing I just want to throw out there that you will be getting. If you want an album from me, you'll be getting that album. The Live Studio Sessions album will be coming out December or January, sometime late, and uh, I hope you all enjoyed that because those, are, those were pretty fun to make. And now I'm going to play a piece of my song, Another One. Good game. You had me fooled by your ways, no shame I did it, I'll take the blame You play with my head with the things you said Yeah, it'll never be the same Never be the same again Purchase your tracks today Go find another one Tell him he's the one Play your games It'll end just the same as you and me can't you see, it'll never be real again You'd be lost in, but it's fine Go find another one Let's talk about the final thing uh, Not that really the final thing, I'll probably talk a little bit more But one of the main things is music videos I wanted to uh, talk about this in this video Just to give y'all something else to look forward to Most of my singles now, probably not all of them But most of them will be getting music videos I'm working on a script to pretty much what I envision are like the next three or four singles and working on those scripts. One of them will be shot pretty soon because the song's coming out like in a couple weeks. So working on really getting that out in a film so it can come out shortly after the song. Not like the Alone music video where it's one shot and it's just split down the middle. No camera movement. No, this one will have movement, multiple shots, multiple scenes. And it's going to be fun. You know, we're uh, just planning it out, seeing what makes most sense when it comes to shooting them. And I'm excited to bring all these music videos. Some of them are gonna be big. Some of them are gonna be big. Some of them are gonna be just kind of small and low key. But no matter what, they're gonna be. They're gonna have scenes. They're gonna have stories that you can follow. So you're not just looking at one thing the whole time. That's. I just want to throw that out there about my music videos. And also, when it comes to the new music, "Ripped Away" was on my old mic and the old setup. As you see in the videos I made this year, I had the new mic, the new headset, the monitors, and I just have learned more about when it comes to editing and mixing music. Music's gonna sound much better, much different. That's another reason I quit music. Um, it's a smaller reason, but it's because the equipment was starting to not sound good after a couple years. Not that it sounded great to begin with, but it was getting worse. So I just decided I needed to get rid of it and just be like, I'm not re releasing more music until I can get new equipment. Got new equipment at the beginning of the year, and then been at work since. So that has been the story of my music life for the past year. I just feel like I can owe an explanation for why I haven't released music when I said I would. It means a lot to me that people do ask me when's the next music coming out because it, at least whether it's for jokes or for seriousness it's good to kind of have that question in the back of your head. It's like oh, when am I releasing new music? And I'm so excited to be getting around to it. I'm 
enjoying making music again. I found my inspiration when I took that time off and I don't hate my music anymore because I take time to really take care of it and nurture it and I love it. I truly, honestly love it and I hope you guys will too. I'm just, mm, it's going to be good. So let's get it. We got the Will Morris music on the way, which also means new merch items. So just keep an eye out for that. When the songs come out, merch comes out. Uh, be on the lookout for music videos at some point and more music announcements. <sighs> I'm happy making music and I love it. So I hope y'all love it too. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed. Make sure to hit that bell button down below so you're notified every single time of a brand new video to the channel, a brand new song, a brand new music video. I'm Morris and I'm out. Peace!